Having a ClickSense server upgrade fail or cause issues after an upgrade is uh, stressful. Um, every upgrade was terrifying when I began my career as a ClickSense admin. Uh, of course, at the time, I didn't know much about how to restore a ClickSense uh, server from backups, and I wasn't even aware that there was a better, faster option to safely roll back a change if something goes wrong. Um, nowadays, upgrading ClickSense feels pretty much like upgrading an app on my phone, all thanks to this thing called checkpoints. And once you see how they can be used to roll back an upgrade, all the stress of upgrades will fade. So let's start by talking about what these uh, magical checkpoints are. Uh, checkpoints, also known uh, as snapshots, depending on the hypervisor, uh, that you're using are simply a way to perfectly capture a state of your server. Um, they're kind of like an undo button. Um, you know how when you write a document in Microsoft Word and accidentally delete a paragraph, uh, you can just click the undo button and the paragraph will be back like nothing happened? Uh, well, that's because Microsoft Word is constantly making checkpoints uh, to which you can return by clicking the undo button. Uh, checkpoints in virtual machine uh, work the same way, except uh, you have to manually create them. Uh, and yes, checkpoints uh, are available only on virtual machines. Uh, but the, behi the idea behind them is simple. Um, it's to undo something done to a virtual machine. Uh, a common use case um, where I use them all the time is uh, the need to roll back an upgrade of a ClickSense server. Uh, so let's see them in action. For extra dramatic effect, um, I'll use my uh, production server for this demo. Now, I've already ran my uh, automated tasks that create backups uh, of my clicks and servers. So just in case something does go very wrong, I'll still have my backups that I'll be able to use to get my server back. Um, if you want the full walkthrough, including the scripts to automate your ClickSense backups, um, I cover it in my backups course and the link is in the description. So right now I have May 2025 version of ClickSense installed and I'll be upgrading it to the latest November 2025 version. Uh, everything is working fine, so I'll go ahead and create a checkpoint of this time. Now I'm using Microsoft's uh, Hyper-V to host uh, my VMs and to create a checkpoint uh, in Hyper-V, all you need to do is right click a server and then select the checkpoint option. Now, uh, this may take a moment uh, depending on the size of your VM and the speed of the disk uh, where the checkpoint is being saved to, um, but whenever it is done on your machine, uh, the next thing I like to do and recommend doing is to uh, rename uh, the checkpoint. Now, I'll go ahead and rename it to something that will tell me what I did after this checkpoint. Um, essentially to know what I what will be undone if I roll back to this checkpoint. Okay, so now that I have checkpoint created, I'll uh, pause here and uh, go ahead and get my server upgraded to November 2025. All right, so that's done. Uh, here's my server running the newest uh, November 2025 version. Um, now, let's say you also upgraded your server to November 2025, and uh, for whatever reason, uh, you need to return your server back to whatever version you had installed before. To do that, Let's go back to Hyper-V Manager and right-click this before upgrade to November 2025 checkpoint or whatever you named your checkpoint uh, and select this Apply option. Um, then click the Apply button again. Now, believe it or not, that's actually all it takes uh, to roll back a server upgrade. 
And if you don't believe me, <laughs> uh, let's uh, see and confirm it. So if I go back to the server and log in, uh, notice that it is back to May 2025 version like nothing happened uh, so I just rolled back the entire upgrade with just a handful of clicks uh, that's the power of checkpoints uh, hopefully now that you see how fast and easy it is to undo a breaking server change uh, your server admin job will be more enjoyable and um, less stressful uh, with the help of checkpoints uh, you know your whole server can break and you can bring it back to life with just a handful of clicks that's pretty cool uh, hopefully that clarified uh, the purpose and use case for checkpoints uh, as always i love hearing from you guys so if you have some thoughts or questions uh, drop them in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow with an another video showing more cool stuff uh, to make your ClickSense admin work more fun and enjoyable.